All right. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry, and how did he die? He was killed in the Warrior Six. The Warrior was exploded. The Warriors that shouldn't have been out. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. And, um, yeah. Lost my son and I've lost everything. I've lost my home. Um, me and my daughter was homeless and we were ended up becoming sofa surfing just to live because his girlfriend, who lied about getting the money from the the armed forces they sent me a letter and also they gave me this two years after he died but it was given to me in a suit a shoebox style um and asked me who was my um who, who was my oh, i've forgotten what they're called undertakers so i told them who they were and then rob from horton's funeral kindly but daniel two years later after he died when the BBC had actually said that the army had kept the army kept body parts of the, the, the six soldiers, they were telling the truth um, and inside this box is bits of my son not only that, I was sent photographs of my son dead um, I, I seen his skull and his rib cage um, and also parts of his burning body I was sent his dog tags with um, the smell of burning flesh, blood, flesh, everything all the way round. Oh my God. Yeah, so that's what the army did to me. And then um, I'm next of kin, because there's me. Some on your chin there. I've got, oh, I've got chaplets from the, the weekend. That's a little chicken. This is me, Elizabeth Cross, yeah. and on the back of it is Daniel's name and rank and also his army number. Now, you only get that if you're next of kin, so I can prove that I am next of kin, because people have been telling people that I'm not next of kin. Well, there's my proof, and you only get that off the Queen, along with two scrolls that says, um, thank you for your son's sacrifice um, to Queen and country, um, Elizabeth R, and you've got the Queen's signature on it. My God. Um, well, I mean, um Two years ago, a friend who I'd known for 15 years, he died, Gulf War Syndrome. He died at 53 years old, Peter who called. And um, this is one of the reasons why I, I've interviewed and supported vets, because he wasn't looked after when yeah. he came out of the army. They're still not being looked no, after. No, they're not, are they? that's a sad thing. I know a lot of veterans who are suffering with PTSD. I know veterans that are homeless. They're living on the streets, begging every day to be fed. And and not only that, the, the way they treat the bereaved mums, yeah. it's and horrible. The yeah. That. So it's not just the veterans, it's the bereaved mums. There's nine of us that were sued and the army didn't help. They just sort of gave me Daniel's give me Daniel's funeral which um, they they picked Paul bearers I couldn't pick my own um, I couldn't design how I wanted my son's funeral to go the army did it and then the after that it was see ya don't want to know ya oh my god well like I said um, because of Peter's death and his illness that's what got me more interested in looking at the armed forces and stuff like that Again, 20th of October last year, Norman McGuigan set up the PTSD demo outside yeah, the MOD. Mine's at war. So I went there um, and I've been up to Durham to support them there. Wherever the vets go, I, I get interviews and talk to them. Um, I, my well, family hasn't got so much of an um, a, a, a armed forces background, but, but Oldham, where I'm from, yeah. is a big armed forces place, yeah. you know. And um, so... It, it's got me interested, and then I, I've looked further into it. I've looked into homeless, the, the vets on the, the streets and stuff like that. Yeah. Um, I, Jimmy will tell you, we, we support them wherever we can, and uh, if we have to get a message out for them, we will do. Yeah, and, um, well, Minds at War are absolutely fantastic. They are 24-7. Norman McGuigan and the volunteers do not charge. They, they don't take a penny. I know they Everything don't. is voluntary. They also um, will go up and get get the soldier, and they'll send two veterans as well yeah. to, with them, so that then they can get them help. Yeah. They get them into crisis 
a, a crisis help, yeah. then they help them after that and carry on. Now I know myself because I've suffered with PTSD um, after seeing photographs of my dead it's, son. Oh. Um, and I, I, well, five weeks ago I tried to take my own life um, because I wanted to be with my son. Um, so yeah, and my, mine's at war were there for me. Uh, but the military came in, what, three weeks later? And that was it. And they've offered no real help, just left me, basically left me. That's the, we, we've, I've seen this, and over the, over, over the years since I, I, I met Peter, I've seen this a lot. Um, you could talk to Norman, he knows me personally. Yeah. Um, and uh, again, I, I will always support um, our, um, our veterans through whatever they've been through and, and things like this are so tragic and um, like you said they don't care about us do they? No. Once you're in the army you come out they don't care but they put us there in the first place they send them out to, to our government sends them out to war and all that and what did you think that they're just, just going to abandon them when they come back which is what they're doing yeah yeah well wh when Daniel when, when Daniel was killed well before he was killed it was coming out that the forces were being out amalgamated and um, any of the soldiers that was at war they were going to be sacked um, and let go um, made redundant whatever they call it and then um, I got a message off um, someone from Afghanistan saying to me Lisa take your post down you're upsetting the soldiers I went well get off my page no I'm telling the truth it's what's going on I'm letting you know what's going on in England because all the lads said well what the, why are we here why are we fighting if we're going to be, be resigned when we get back yeah. and lo and behold I was true and then none of them have ever apologised to me for what they said and the nasty comments that was made. But that's all right because it's the top brasses that did it. And um, I got a phone call off somebody called Bob, who was from the military that organised Daniel's funeral, telling me it's my own fault. And I said, uh, because of the way I acted at the beginning, I went, well, how the fuck is a, a bereaved mother that's just found out her son's dead? supposed to act because there's no book no one tells you no, they how you're going to feel I've lost my mum my dad my nephew and I know the pain of that but losing a child is even worse yeah. and especially the way Daniel died it was just horrible no they sent him to war in Iraq didn't they and they sent him and with and a lie yeah and and plastic uniforms and plastic materials yeah. because they weren't yeah. looking well, good they were armor going, and all no, that well, were they? they were going into the american shop and buying the american their own stuff, stuff. yeah yeah they, that's what was, they were forced to do because our government even rose gentle she um she's a, a son's guardian gentle he was killed in iraq and she the stuff that should have been on his uh, vehicle to protect him um he vehicle turned over and sadly he died, he drowned, he died. Now if the bit had been on it that wasn't in storage in England, he'd have still been alive today. It sounds like they were fucking money pinching, weren't they? You know, and you know to, to cut down on costs and I will I will never forgive them me. I won't I've never forgive them. And I was asking him if he was new Elvis. And um, I went to be councillor and the MP. I only asked him to ask him how they're getting these new helps in my son's cubicle over there. He's based in Cyprus, ready to go. I won't tell you what they did to me, son, but he, he phoned me and told me straight, shut my effing god down. I'm in massive trouble, you old god. I've got letters in there from the MP that I did get in touch. He never got the helmets, by the way, and my son was opposed to my other son, 17, was opposed to win to Paris in September. The way they're treating these Northern Ireland veterans, I said, son, you're under 18, I'm not signing, and I didn't let him go in. It's up to him, and because the way, I don't want him getting treated the way these are. Um, again, Lisa, I, I've met Norman, I know the kind of work he does, and um, all the rest of them, and I've just got ultimate respect for him. I might not have known about this, but because I'm, I, I, I want to know these things, and I've looked into it and stuff like that, I do know, and... Um, well, you can join. I've got a web page warranted behind our veterans if you'd like to join. Is that. it is it on Facebook though? Yeah, it's or on Facebook. 
Well, I'm not allowed to film, but I'm dis disabled from Facebook. Um, but I'll get one of the other lads to, to, to look at it, and um, I'll try and get on the page. But uh, again, honestly, our armed forces, our support, and wherever they go, you, and you can, you can check this with Norman, and he'll tell you the same thing. I'll video, I'll get the word out, whatever I can do, and I will do. Yeah. But Lisa, 